Good day. Today's presentation is about Australia. You will learn about Australia and its traditions. You will understand different cultures and you will be able to develop language skills. Before we start with a proper presentation, I would like you to write down three words that you may associate with Australia. I'm sure that you have thought about some words to describe Australia, such as beach, kangaroo and koala. In this presentation, you're going to learn about Australia, its name, its land dimensions, its beach life, etc. You will also learn about Australian different flags, its animals, its coat of arms, and of course, you will also learn about Australian language and idiomatic expressions. Australia is a country in the Southern Hemisphere comprising the mainland of the Australian continent, the island of Tasmania, and various smaller islands in the Indian and Pacific Oceans. It is a fact that in area, Australia is the sixth largest nation after Russia, Canada, China, the United States and Brazil. It is about twice the size of the European Union. For at least 40,000 years before European settlement in the late 18th century, Australia was inhabited by indigenous Australians. After discovery by Dutch explorers in 1606, Australia's eastern half was claimed by Britain in 1770 and initially settled through penal transportation to the colony of New South Wales, formally founded on the 7th of February 1788. The population of Australia is about 22 million people, with approximately 60% concentrated in and around the mainland state capitals of Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, Perth and Adelaide. The nation's capital city is Canberra. Australia has six states, New South Wales, Queensland, South Australia, Tasmania, Victoria and Western Australia, and also two major mainland territories, the Northern Territory and the Australian Capital Territory. In most respects, these two territories function as states, but the Commonwealth Parliament can override any legislation of the parliaments. Each state and major mainland territory has its own parliament. The flag of Australia is a blue field with the Union flag in the upper hoist quarter and a large white seven-pointed star known as the Commonwealth Star in the lower hoist quarter. The fly contains a representation of the Southern Cross constellation made up of five white stars, one small five-pointed star and four larger seven-pointed stars. The Australian Aboriginal flag is a flag that represents indigenous Australians. It is one of the official flags of Australia and holds special legal and political status, but it is not the Australian national flag. It was designed in 1971 by Aboriginal artist Harold Thomas, who holds intellectual property rights in the flag's design. The flag was originally designed for the land rights movement 
and it became a symbol of the Aboriginal people of Australia. The Aboriginal flag is divided into a black region above, a red region below, and a yellow disc is superimposed over the centre of the flag to represent the sun. Australian Code of Arms The present Code of Arms was granted in 1912 by King George V. It consists of a shield composed of six parts, each containing a badge for each state. The shield is supported by two native Australian animals, the kangaroo on the left and the emu on the right. It is thought that the kangaroo and the emu were chosen to symbolize a nation moving forward, reflecting a common belief that neither animal can move backwards easily. The didgeridoo, also known as didgeridoo or ditch, is a wind instrument developed by indigenous Australians of Northern Australia at least 1500 years ago, and it is still in widespread usage today, both in Australia and around the world. It is sometimes described as a natural wooden trumpet. Another symbol of Australia is the Aboriginal art represented in boomerangs, for example. This is a symbol of Australia, a billabong. And of course, beach life, it is really important for Australians in general. It is a fact that located just off the coast of southern Queensland, Fraser Island is the largest sand island in the world. Gold Coast is a very popular area for tourism in Australia. More than 80% of Australians live within 100 kilometers of the coast. The Great Barrier Reef is the world's largest coral reef. It lies a short distance of the northeast coast and extends for over 2,000 kilometers. The Outback Ayers Rock, or Uluru, its Aboriginal name, is a sandstone of 9.4 kilometers in circumference. The animals of Australia are particularly interesting because many of them are distinctly primitive. Many of the animals found in this country are unique. Australia is home to a variety of native mammals both on land and in the surrounding oceans. The largest number of the mammals, almost half, are the kangaroo, the koala and the wombat. The kangaroo is Australia's best known animal. It has become recognized as the national animal. There are about 45 species. The red kangaroo in the picture is the largest kangaroo living in Australia. Kangaroos live almost entirely on plants. Koalas. The males are larger than females. Southern koalas are 30% larger than the northern koalas. Wombats The platypus has a duck-like 
leathery bill, and the maximum length for a male is 24 inches and 20 inches for a female. They are expert swimmers and divers and can stay underwater for several minutes. A croc or crocodile is another symbol of Australia. And of course, the Tasmanian devil. It is a fact that they see in black and white. And also, the Tasmanian devil stores its fat in its tail, therefore, a fat tail means a healthy devil. Lorikids are also very popular in Australia and you can even see them in cities. Another symbolic animal in Australia is the possum. You can see possums everywhere in Australia, especially in cities such as Melbourne, Sydney and Brisbane, for example. Australian language While Australia prides itself in its multiculturalism, with over 80 languages spoken, included Australian Aboriginal languages, the predominant language spoken in Australia is English. But as with other countries, there is a distinct and sometimes colourful local variation. Unlike other countries where the, there are regional accents, the only accents you will find here are those of the upper, middle and working classes, sometimes exaggerated if you are at a social function. But even here in Australia, you should not find a problem. Be warned, unless you are absolutely sure of a phrase, do not use it. A slang used in America or England may not mean the same as over there in Australia. Some colloquial expressions used in Australia are, for example, Aussie, and it can refer to Aussie land or Aussie, the nationality, an Aussie person, to easy, no worries, mate, or brekkie, for example, which is a colloquial term that refers to breakfast. Okay, we are now finishing this presentation in which you have learned about Australian traditions and symbols. Please ensure to do some extra practical work on Prometeo. And thank you very much for your attention once again. Universidad de las Palmas de Gran Canaria, Vicerrectorado de Calidad e Innovación Educativa.